Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. As you can see, we are starting on top of my hutch today doing some decorating after Christmas. I got all of my Christmas stuff taken down from my hutch. So I'm going to start by putting some new pieces that I got that I'm so excited about. I'm going to be layering two things. I'm starting with this new gather sign that I got from Hobby Lobby and then I'm going to be working with the window that I got from the antique flea market. Now I'm going to be adding my farmer's market sign that I had up here before. I got this from Hobby Lobby years ago for $10. It's one of my favorite pieces, um, but you will see later on that I do change things up a little bit, but this is how it is for now. And then I'm also going in with um, the same candlesticks that I had up here before. These two that are like a white washed color, they came from Hobby Lobby. And then this other one came from the thrift shop. It's one of my favorite candle holders. I love it that it has a little bit of glam. And then I'm going to add some candles and a greenery ball to these candlesticks. changing up the middle a little bit and I'm going to add this boxed greenery that I used to have on my TV stand but I decided that I thought I wanted to put it on my hutch and I really like how it looks. Beside my box greenery, I'm just going in with this plate and plate holder that I had up here before. I got this from Thistle Do Nicely in Tennessee. And then I'm going back in with my dough bowl uh, arrangement that I had, changing it up just a little bit. This tall greenery plant I got from Dirt Sheet, but it was originally from Target. And then this little rooster I got years ago at Hobby Lobby. And then to finish it up, I'm going to be adding this like large uh, farmhouse beaded garland that I got on clearance from Marshalls. Going back to this other side, I am going to be adding my rolling pins. And for now, I'm putting them in this little white wired basket that I have. I am still on the hunt for a crock. I want like a white or beige color crock, and I'm still looking for that. But they're going to go in here for now. And these are the ones that I collected right before Christmas. I had them underneath my gingerbread tree, but I knew I wanted to display them up here after Christmas. And so I love how this looks, but you'll see that I do change this up um, here in just a minute and I like how it ends up. Now. 
I decided that it looked too crowded with this farmer's market sign. So I am going to take it down and then I'll find somewhere else to use it. But I think that was just what this area needed. So now you can see more of the window and I feel like the rolling pins and that farmer's market sign are not competing with each other. I think this is my favorite way that I've ever had the top of my hutch styled. I did use some of my same pieces and then adding these new uh, bigger pieces I think just makes such a statement and I'm absolutely in love with how it turned out. So I was editing this video, but I have the most exciting news that I found a crock to put my rolling pins in. So I wanted to go ahead and include this in this video. I picked this up for $12 at our Emporium. I love that it's like a two-toned color. It has this pretty brown and white, and I think the brown uh, kind of complements the dough bowl on the other side of my hutch. So I'm absolutely in love with this crock, and I think it was just the perfect touch to this area. To my embellishment pieces on the wall, I'm just putting my lamb's ear wreaths back on there. Now I'm sharing with you my new cabinet that I got that I'm going to make my coffee station. Uh, we put this in its home right after we took down our Christmas tree and I'm going to get all of my coffee bar items moved over here today. I love this so much and I am going to be decorating the bottom part like where the shelves are. So I want to um, go ahead and finish up this video. There's a few more places I want to decorate. I want to put out some of my new stools that I got to go uh, beside my hutch and a few new pieces I picked up from Hobby Lobby today. I apologize if the lighting is kind of weird in these clips. It is pretty late at night and it's a very uh, stormy night here in Alabama. But I just wanted to kind of tell you what I'm gonna be doing for the rest of this video and where I'm gonna be decorating. Okay, so I placed my new stool that I got from Hobby Lobby for Christmas on this side of my hutch. And then I'm just gonna add a few pieces to one of the corners. I recently picked up this plant from Dirt Cheap, but I think it originally came from Target. And then I'm also gonna add these two new candlesticks that I got. I picked them up from Walmart after Christmas on clearance. And I really love how this looks. I don't think I'm gonna put any candles in it. I think I'm gonna leave them just like that. Um, and now I'll give you a close up of how this turned out. Okay, after looking at it, I actually decided to move it on this side. I think it looks better and then it's a little bit separated from my hutch because I'm gonna be putting the core on there as well. Um, but I really love how this looks. I think it just kind of gives 
a little something to this corner and this area and I love my new bench and how these little decor pieces look styled on top of it. to this side of my hutch and to start I'm going to be putting another new stool that I got. I got this from Dirt Cheap but it originally came from Lowe's. I'm just going to kind of turn it a little bit like that and then I'm so excited for my idea of what I want to do beside it. Okay if I can I will pop up my picture that I found on Pinterest that was kind of my inspiration for this area. Um, I'm just kind of, you know, putting my own spin on it. But I knew I was looking for a galvanized piece, and I found it tonight at Hobby Lobby. And it's this galvanized pitcher. And I'll sit it by the stool so you can, like, see how tall it is. So my plan was to um, get that to sit on the floor beside the stool with some greener. So I knew I wanted to find like an olive branch stem to put in it. So I got that from Hobby Lobby 2 and I love how it looks in there. I'll show you that in just a minute. Uh, the branch was not on sale, it was $13.99. The pitcher was regularly $45, but it was 50%. I'm sorry, it was regularly $40, but it was 50% off. But let me show you what I got to sit the pitcher on. I am so excited. I did not even plan to get anything to sit it on but when I show you this and tell you how much I paid for it you'll know I couldn't leave it behind look at this little precious stool plant stand whatever you want to call it this was regularly $45 I got it on sale for $4.99 I knew I couldn't leave it behind so my plan is to put the picture on top of this beside the stool. So let's play around with it and see how it ends up. It's perfect. I love it so much. Like even more than I thought I would. I'm so glad that I decided to get a little stool and elevate it. And the stool, um, like this tall one, is sturdy enough that if we need an extra seat to sit on. Oh, I love it so much. I thought about putting something on this, but it kind of like dents in a little bit right there. And so I don't want it to fall. And I know this kind of matches the same color of my hutch, but be on the lookout because in the coming months, more than likely my hutch is getting a makeover. That's all I'm gonna say because that's gonna be in the future, but for now it can just match my hutch a little bit, but I love this little stand and you can see little toys all over my floor, but I love this little plant stand I think it's so cute. I am going to try one more thing. I'm going to switch the plant stand and the stool and see if I like it better that way. Um, so the colors are not the exact same. So let me switch that around for just a minute and then um, we can decide. Might leave it that way for a little bit to decide which way I like it better. So let me swap them around and see what I think about that. Okay, I think I might like that better just because these two colors are very similar. That other thing kind of breaks it up a little bit. I think I'm gonna leave it like this for a little while and um, you know, I can always change it later if I want to, but I love how this looks. I love that so much, so much. So you'll have to let me know down below in the comments which way you liked it better. But I think I'm gonna leave it like this for a little bit 
and then I can always change it up if I want to. But I'm gonna give you one more view of how everything looks uh, that we decorated today. And then that's gonna be the end of today's video. So I really hope that you enjoy coming along and doing some decorating with me. I know this was filmed over a couple different days, so a little bit different than most of my videos, but I really hope that you liked it and I will see you all in the very next one. Bye, sweet friends. So if you watched this video all the way through to the end, thank you so much. It truly means so much to me when you guys watch my videos. And the day that this is going up is actually my one year anniversary on YouTube. I started my channel on January the 17th of 2023. And I can't believe that we are already here one year later to the date. And I just cannot thank you enough for all the support that I have been shown on my channel this year. I'll see you all in the very next one. And I'm looking forward to everything that's in store for my channel for 2024 and it truly wouldn't be possible without all of you.